Here we go again, back with more Pro Cycling Manga Season 2016, and it's this time it's the Paris Nice starts this Sunday and goes on all seven days next week until next Sunday, eight stages. In total today we'll do the first date, which is a prologue or a short time trial, and it's in the outskirts of Paris. I don't really think it, the race really starts in Paris anymore. It usually starts like a bit south of Paris and then it goes uh, through the Alps and ends up in Nice at the end. But today we have a time trial, we have one flat stage tomorrow, three hill stages, a flat stage on Friday, hill stage to Nice on uh, Saturday, and then a mountain time trial on Sunday. A short one, but still a mountain time trial. So this should be a really fun race to do. But first of all, we have to pick a team. I have got a list up on my second monitor with some of the teams that I could choose. I've got the start list and everything for the for the race. And I'm thinking I should go with one of the favorites again. So I'm wondering, should I go with Tinkoff, with Considor, or should I go with BMC? With Richie Port. I could also go with Jaron Thomas because I think Jaron Thomas has gotten quite a big upgrade in this game. That's in this database at least. Let's see where can I find him. There he is. 79, 77, 77. That'll be pretty good. What about Richie Port? Looking at 80, 78, 77. A bit better. But it could be fun to go with, with Jaron Thomas. I don't. I think he's won anything similar to that. I'm hoping Chris Froome will, will not start. He probably will start, but that's a bit annoying. But so I actually think I'm going to pick Sky because then I I can't I don't I won't have to go against Kitana, possibly. I probably won't beat Kitana in Mountain Time Trial, but I can get some time on an, at least on the time trial here. So let's try and uh, pick Team Sky and Jaron Thomas as our captain. So let's find Sky over here. And look what names we have to pick. So they have Jaron Thomas, of course, and then it's by last name in alphabetical order. Ian Boswell is there. Henao. Is that your now, is it? Uh, Mikhail Nieve. Nicholas Roach. Luke Rowe. He's done really well so far, actually, in the season. Ian Stannard. Surprised that he didn't ride in the classics. And Ben Swift as the last guy. Eight riders here. What about fitness roads and butts? Well, and Dion Thomas is actually looking great as well, but a strong team in total bad. Look at this, Dion Thomas. 79, all his first five stats, six stats here actually, uh, over 77. And then 78 stamina and on top of that. His only stat under 70 is sprint. And honestly, I think it could be over 70 if I had to be, uh, to be precise. But, but he's, he's so good in mountains that giving him plus 70 sprint is probably a bit too much. But let's get into the race. It's a time trial. Hopefully, we can get a good result with Dan Thomas. He has some great time trial stats. Hopefully, he can get some time on Contador and the other favorites who are in the race. Let's get it started. Okay, we enter the stage. Now we have to wait until our turn. They've started by sprinters and Hill Riders as favorites. So we have Cancelar, Dumoulin, Tony Martin as favorite for the time trial here. But I, I don't see Contador. I don't see Quintana. I only see Dio Quintana. And who else is that I could be worried about? Well, that is there. But I feel like I've got a, quite a gap here. He's of course great in the hill status. But I actually think John Thomas is the first trial here for my team out. So I have to nail it right away with John Thomas. He's one of the top five favorites for the stage. Oh, it goes in the reverse order. Oh, thank God. So I have a lot of time to actually work out what's the best way to get a good time here. Ben Swift is the first one out on the course. I'll try. It's a nine kilometer one. 80 maybe. Is that too much? Following along pretty nicely. Maybe 75 instead. It's probably it does go uphill here in the start, so that might trick you a little bit. 75, it does go downhill right now, which is why uh, 75 is is doable at least. And now we can push it up to 80 again here in the last two kilometers of the race. A little sprint here for Ben Swift. He's first after the first checkpoint, but he did he did go a little bit slower on the downhill section, so maybe that might cost him. But let's see how far ahead he is at the finish line. He's in third place after Josh Van Emden and Anton, but he's only at 66 in Polo, so that's not the end of the world. He's not one of the, my best riders. Dion Thomas has 79, one of the best Polo riders in the world right now. Fourth best in this race, but I'm actually a bit disappointed that we didn't see more big names here. I'm looking Rui Costa is there, Tom Dumoulin is here, Valverde, uh, for Tinkoff we have, I don't really know, we don't have Michael Rogers maybe. Ethics Chris, that no Kwiatkowski, BMC has Richie Porter, that, that's what I was looking for, Richie Porter, of course. 
is here somewhere. Let's try 77 with Ian Standard here. 74 prologue should be able to to get a good time here on the first checkpoint. He goes in at 11 just outside the top 10. Still an okay result here for Ian Standard. Try and hold on. And last kilometer here, put it up to 80 again for a little sprint. Does go uphill to the finish line. And then it flatten. Oh, it does go downhill in the last 500 meters or so. But he comes in the line in 15th place. So actually worse than Lugro, which is a surprise. Not Lugro, Ben Swift, which is surprising. I was expecting uh, Ian Standard to put uh, maybe a top 5 performance in here. But maybe the, re the good strategy is to start out really fast at around 80 here. Seems to work so far for Ben Swift. Then once we get to the top of the hill, he moved down to run 75. Uh, Lugro 67 prologue. He's already lost a lot of power. I don't think he, he can uh, make that up again by going 75 on a downhill here. I have to go 75 all the way to the finish line now. Still, does go a bit uphill here. Once we cross the kilometer mark. And across the line in 41st place. Second after first, only behind Ben Swift. You can see we're really fast. Both our sky riders have got away uh, faster over the top hill, but they die out in the end. And especially the road died out in the end. And the nearest road is probably maybe with Sadio Hinao. How good is Hinao in the, in the mountains? 76. And uh, Roach has 77. So he's probably a uh, next, next best guy in the mountains should something happen to John Thomas uh, the proper the captain role will probably uh, fall to whoever's done best so far of Nicholas Rhodes and Sergio now and so far I think that'll probably be Nicholas Rhodes and he's the best of the, of the two in uh, in time trial and probably in mountains as well as, as we just saw 75 here seems like to be a good pace to go up with this mountain 80 was too much Still at 75. He should gain a lot of energy now because this is where it goes down a lot. So hopefully he'll gain some energy here at the 4 3 km mark. See, now he has a bit of extra energy. Maybe that's enough to just gain some time. He's still in first, actually. He's done a great prologue so far. 72 time, 72 prologue. Same time, same time as Ben Swift while doing 5% less effort. Almost setting up with a single dump from the John Alperson team. Let's see, I think he'll get a best time so far. Yeah, he will. Same time as Swine Tooth. Swine Tooth did get a better time him at the end. I don't even see Swine Tooth here, but uh, actually beat Tony Martin as well. Surprising. But we still haven't seen Cantela and Tom Dumoulin cross the finish line as well. I think Tom Dumoulin is here as well. I remember seeing his name before. Next up is Mikkel Nieve. Let's speed it up so we can get to his turn. But I feel like we've got a good strategy so far. Go with 75 up. The first climb worked well for Nicholas Roach. There is Nieve. 75. And still just hold 75 on this, until the last 3 2 kilometers. See how much energy you have for left and then you can sprint. Let's see. Good start over the first hill so far. Nieve in ninth place. And still Sky dominated. Four riders of the top 10 riders now. It's from Team Sky. Let's see. Hopefully he can regain some energy here at the end. Yes, yeah, it's looking good. His green bar is now bigger than his blue bar, but it's not by a lot. Now we can go up to 80 here. The rider Ludwigsson has just crossed the finish line. Of course, I'm always after the giant Epstein riders and always in front of the Movistar riders. Near across the finish line in 55th place. It's not strong enough in time in a prologue. 63 was not good enough today. Road still ahead. Tony Martin. TJ Van Garden is actually here as well. Strong BMC team with both TJ Van Garden, Philip Silbert, and Richie Port. Only three riders left. Hinao, Boswell. I think Boswell is a great time trial rider as well. Probably not as good as uh, Ian Thomas. Uh, Ian Thomas. Jaron Thomas is at Prologues, but should probably be up there around top 10 as well. Hinao, 74, actually much better than I expected. Could maybe challenge uh, Richie Port, especially because, uh, not Richie Port, Nicholas Roach, especially because they're both creating the, in the mountains and the hills. He just crossed in first place after a strong start. Let's see how far ahead he is. Three seconds gap down to Nicholas Roach, and he still has a lot downhill to go to regain energy as well. Plus five could bring him a great result in the first prologue here. Now up to 80. 
Roy Curvas, the, the pretty old Dutch rider right now, is in front of us. But he is almost being caught. That's how fast he now is going here. He takes 30. He had, had a lot of energy left as well. Super so Xamonel actually overtaking this roads, but it doesn't matter because he now reclaims the first place for Team Sky, beating out everybody by a lot. He now probably is our second best rider so far. And uh lead out man for Dion Thomas once we hit the mountains. But I'm excited to see how Kinsella and how Dion Thomas and how Tom Dumoulin will do. But first we have the end boss well to go through before we can reach the final riders. I just missed him him starting completely. Let's put it up to 75 here at the end as well. 11, 66 times while I actually thought he was better, but he's still pretty young if I'm if I'm correct. So 12th place after so many riders have passed the first mark is actually a great result. I think I'm going to put it up to 85 here in the sprint here within Buswell because there's still on another two kilometers to the low. Nils Arndt is coming across now in uh, 26th place. Actually, a pretty good result so far. Next up, Ian Boswell does go down a little bit in the end here, so it's not the end of the world if he runs out. He takes 31st place, actually, slower than Arndt. Pretty disappointing. Next up is, of course, a big man. All the captains are starting now Galopang, Oran, Alexander Villamo, Borsan Hagen, it's done really well so far this season, Robert Gesink. Michael Matthews, who actually won today, I'm recording this just after the time trial has, uh, the Bulldogs ended. Michael Matthews ended up winning today. Spoiler alert for all of you guys watching. Rui Costa won the race a couple of years ago, if, if I remember correctly. Uh, last spawn. Buhani, and then I think Dumoulin. And then next up is me, I'm after Dumoulin, so it's two big riders just after each other here. Which means I probably won't catch the guy in front of me, even though John Thomas is a great rider. It seems pretty unlikely that I'm going to catch him because Tom Rung is a just as great rider as uh, John Thomas is. Saw that last year in the Volta Espana. 75 for John Thomas. 79 Prologue. 79 Mountain. 77 Hill. Great rider. Let's see. First after the first take point. Let's see where's Tom Dumoulin. Eight seconds ahead of Dumoulin. Still haven't seen Kutela, of course. Starts as the third last rider, if I remember correctly. Yeah, now every rider is out on the course. I'm ahead of Valverde here. Valverde would be a nice guy to get some good seconds on because he's a strong rider in the hills and there's a lot of free hills there and no mountains in this race. And I'm kind of a, a lot worse in the in the hills than Valverde, so beating him would be a great result. And beating him by a lot would be even better. But now we're in the hill. 400 meters for Dumoulin, I think he'll take first. Fifth place actually. Still, he now actually, Steph Clermont has taken second. Uh, Kentela, where is he? Seventh place, around the same time as Dumoulin. Joe Thomas takes second, he actually get beat by his teammate. He now ha had some injury left as well, uh, but I think he now has as well, so this is probably a fair result. Alvaro will come in here, taking 22 seconds, 21 seconds behind Joe Thomas. Gilbert will lose how much? 34 seconds to John Thomas. Cancelar will lose. 9, 8 seconds, taking 4th place. Peter Sagan, actually a good prologue rider, takes 30th place. And finally, Marcel Kittel, the best sprinter in the game, titled Greibel, will take 103rd place. But yeah, it's even winning an individual time trial in a single race. Pretty nice. Don't know why I haven't got that before, because I never do single races. I just usually do pro cyclist mode and career modes. But yeah, Top two finish here today, great result. And yeah, you can see the standings here. Next up is a flat sprint stage. I don't really know where, who we have. We have Ben Swift, maybe as a sprinter. So, but he's up against some strong sprinters. We'll try our best to get a, the breakaway wheeled in and then we'll get a small sprint train for uh, Ben Swift going. Hopefully, we'll get a good result. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.